I had to re-log in. Said there's a problem with my with my stream key, huh? I didn't even do anything. So stupid. My I guess it's my stream key because every time I try to go live again, it says that. Hold on. You have to reset your stream key. It's because of a connectivity or network issue. Fuck me. Why does this shit happen? I had a bounty to pop. <laughs> no way. How bad was it? How bad was it? Hold on. It says higher now, but it's lying. Right? Come on. It's going to drop. It's going to drop. I had a bounty I had to do. 1788. Oh, shit. What's good, everybody? How's it going? <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Thanks for stopping by. Oh, what the fuck? It's going to go back down. It's going to go down soon. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I got something to show you in just a second. Please don't leave, okay? We're watching a movie. Here we go. Awful individual. Hey, check it out, everybody. Oh, 1,200. Are you fucking kidding? Shooting people. I did know what to do. 1,200 now. Oh, my God. See, that's what happens with the phone. Oh, my God. See, it goes... It go I think this shit is inaccurate. This shit is not accurate. 2259? No, wait, 2258. What the fuck? Wait, are you guys here? <laughs> are you guys still... Are, are, what's going on? 1210. Are you fucking kidding? Oh, my God. I had a fucking bounty. It counts everybody twice. No way. <laughs> Streaming sucks. I hate streaming. And nasty personalities. It There's no sucks. doubt in my mind that the red team of season seven is. I won't bounty yet. I have to wait for people. Team in Hell's Kitchen history. I can't yet. I can't. I can't do it now. Oh, that that's me to my viewers. That's me to all my viewers. When my shit crashes. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this oh. video and want to see more unique house kitchen Don't content, leave. Like Don't get out. Stay here. <laughs> shit. Twitch sucks, bro. I hate this shit. That's the new Coney outro. <laughs> Just yelling, get out. Okay. I was going to pop the bounty, but now I got to wait. I don't know why it's so weird because it just goes to zero out of nowhere. This just drops to zero. I see people say F. And then I'm like, what? And then uh, I just restart it and it works. I don't know what that is. Just drops the fucking zero out of nowhere. That's so annoying. Man. That's so tough. <laughs> That's okay. I know what I'll get him back. This is really for me. Salty bet? You know that doesn't get viewers. Dude, why do I have to wiggle your ears like a little elf boy? What the fuck? I'm wearing headphones. You wouldn't even see it. Call it? We're not going to call it. We're not going to call it. That, I, we didn't even have to. Ecomp did made an executive decision on that. Why did you read that? I don't know. <laughs> I thought it, I just, I, I, I thought I'd give it a shot. thought it might be fun to say. Okay. Shit, I got ad Dude, why do I have ads when that shit just happened to me? Huh? I got ads in five minutes. All right, I'm going to pop ads. We're watching a movie. We're watching another video. Let me pop ads before we get into it. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> My bad. If you don't want the ads, you know, use a prime uh, tier one. I'll see you guys soon. Fuck, man. How does that happen? Why does my Twitch connection die randomly? What do I even say here? 
Why does my stream keep ending or how to fix? Check your internet connection. Use a VPN. Disable firewall. <gasps> Wait. I just reformatted. Maybe it is firewall. Don't. <laughs> I mean, I, I, if it saves me, right? It'd be worth it. Let the virus is free. Man, what is a virus going to do to my computer? My shit's strong and healthy. I'm not scared of nothing. It says check your connection. What are you talking about? Oh my god! It's not me! I am zooming. All right, this should be higher, but whatever. One trillion speed. I have gigabit, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Doxed? Oh, he's near Washington. I got him. I don't know why the upload is. Upload isn't normally that low. Weird. I wonder why that happens, though. It happens every once in a while. Shit just, like, immediately turns off. That sucks. You know what I bet it is? I bet it's, like, people on TVs, because I think the TV won't reconnect you. Wasn't it the server thing? Server thing. Huh? A server thing. I almost clicked on that. <laughs> this thing with not safe for work in the in the thing. What is it? It says trust me. Oh yeah, it's this. I know you can control yourself. Any. My bad. <laughs> A lot of people submit this to WebSurf. A lot of people send this into WebSurf. My bad. I didn't know it'd be that. Bad. There you go. Yeah, that's an old-ass site. All right. People are coming out of the ad break. I clicked on the chat message and got my card. <laughs> Fun stream, Coney. Definitely going to be making back those lost viewers with this. Yeah, man. <laughs> this? For a couple hours? My channel. We had dmca why are comic book villains so dumb? <laughs> the thumbnail, by the way, is Armless Tiger Man. <laughs> Who is Armless Tiger Man and what does he want? Let's find out. They're actually pretty smart. No, they're dumb, as you will see. Here comes the big wheel. Ah! Marvel and DC have always had some sort of rivalry going on. Whether it be who could have the best superhero team, who could rack up the biggest lawsuit, or what this video is concerned with. You know, you know, everybody memes on Big Wheel, but he would kill me. I would die. Like, not just the wheel, but also the pinchers, right? He's got some shit to, like, grab you and tear you apart. No, he wouldn't. Yes, he would. He would kill you. He would absolutely kill you. Wheel. Marvel and DC have always had some sort Not of so dumb now. rivalry going on. Whether it Coney loses the big wheel, but he says he could kill a giraffe. Yeah, big wheel is like sort of rivalry going on. Whether it a comes big monster, the big wheel made out of metal and steel, and it probably goes really fast. A giraffe is just—he's got a tail. He's got a little ass leg. Marvel and DC have always had some sort. Big wheel can't go up the stairs. Yes, he can, as long as he has enough. Acceleration of rivalry going on, whether it be who could have the best superhero team, who could <laughs> rack up the biggest lawsuit, or what this video is concerned with, who could create the most bizarre, nightmarishly <laughs> stupid supervillain of is all that time. That a brick wall. 1941. Marvel creates Armless Tiger Man, an <laughs> amputee who joins the Nazis after his arms were chopped off in a workplace accident. Why would that be his inclination? Why would he go there? DC looks at this and goes, "Okay, how about?" Crazy Quilt, a <laughs> painter who uses bright colors to hypnotize his enemies. Oh, I like Marvel that, fires back actually. With gorilla Man, a hunter who tries to kill a gorilla, and when he does, it turns him into a gorilla. 
is it the same gorilla? Is it a different gorilla every time? Does he need the gorilla? Like, does he need to like live in Africa to kill the gorilla and then to get fair play? Says DC. How about animal vegetable mineral man? <laughs> I think it's safe to say who wins here. But it's easy to say. I kind of like gorilla man, like, actually. Tiger man or animal vegetable mineral man. <laughs> All right, you laugh, but again, this guy would kill me. That guy would kill me quickly. It wouldn't even be close. Look at that. He's got a tree arm, a dinosaur mouth, and a normal mouth. He could bite me with either one. Got a rock hand. And, and laugh at the... <laughs> Try playing 20 questions at this motherfucker. This guy's going to be on the next Who Asked. Nobody will get him. He's probably been in a video game. But back then, this was some serious stuff. Let's take Asbestos Lady, for example, Ooh. an enemy of the original Human Torch. As her name might suggest, she built herself a suit lined head to toe with asbestos and also had these special asbestos bullets. Okay. Now, if you're not familiar with asbestos, it was basically this material used all around the world in floors, roofs, insulation. And the great thing about it was is that it was fireproof, making uh -huh. someone like Asbestos Lady the perfect opponent for a man whose whole thing is fire. Is that his head? Is that like flaming to... Damn, he's kind of... <laughs> I didn't even see that. I was looking at his head. I was like, wait a minute. Sheesh. Sheesh. No, because permission to act up. Permission granted like on this guy. What the fuck? Lady, the perfect opponent for a man whose whole thing is fire. Act up away. Now, because it was the 1940s, no one saw a problem what? with this. This wasn't ridiculous at the time. In her first appearance, she tries to drown the human torch with an asbestos-lined fishing net, but her plan fails and she goes to prison. And that was it. Marvel uh -huh. pretty much forgot about her for like half a century. She had a few fleeting cameos in the 70s and 80s, but it was only in 2005, Wait. almost 60 years after she was first introduced. Bro, it'd be really funny if an asbestos lady went to jail and then everybody that fought her just started dying like 50 years later. Like, what the fuck? It did? Mesothelioma, what happened? <laughs> Wait! That asbestos lady finally made her return. Now, she only appeared for less than a page. Is but in it? this page, it is heavily implied that asbestos lady, along with many other wacky supervillains at the time, was created and illegally funded by the US government to combat the threat that superheroes posed to their own personal agendas. And by now it was 2005, what? and so it was widespread knowledge that while asbestos is an efficient, fireproof material, uh -huh. it also causes cancer. Therefore, yeah. it was mentioned that at some point after the 1940s, asbestos lady had gotten cancer and died. That's Just really sad, actually. I that That's not funny at all. I don't know why you would devote your life to asbestos, though. That feels like... Like, damn, you you, you could have picked anything. And you just rolled the dice and ended up with snake eyes. There's got to be more, I don't know, fireproof things, right? Despite how stupid she And she smoked? <laughs> I bet it was the smoking more than the is bad. I mean, let's be honest, right? It just could have been anything was in hindsight, Asbestos Lady now serves as an actual unintentional metaphor for how real world governments expose their employees to harmful substances. It's accidental genius. Hmm? But believe it or not, this was not Marvel's only asbestos themed supervillain. If it ain't broke, make another one. So along came Why does she have a big like a like a, a veil made out of asbestos? That's probably what's worse. Direct contact. You're breathing it all the time. Asbestos man. Oh not again. We didn't need another one. It was the same deal as before. Someone with an asbestos suit tries to kill the Human Torch, gets defeated in the same issue, and uh. is never mentioned again for the next 48 years. Yeah. But unlike Asbestos Lady, whose death only got a brief mention, <laughs> Asbestos Man was brought back to directly address the effects of asbestos. Okay. He now has to carry around an oxygen tank so that he doesn't die. Does he have an ironing board? Is that what that is? I have asbestosis. Damn, they thought asbestos was really cool. Yeah, you couldn't give up that gimmick? That was just so hot, you had to do it more than once? That's that's really weird to me. Why wouldn't you just... <laughs> I feel like one asbestos guy is probably like, all right, I get it. It's kind of weird. 
Jesus. But ironically enough, this helps him out. People are now actually scared of him. Not because of his evil plan, <laughs> but because they're scared of getting cancer. Yeah, I guess so. tries to fight the Great Lakes Avengers, who are like the Z-list version of the Avengers, but ends up breaking down in the middle of the fight. He's embarrassed at how rubbish he is as a supervillain, and is scared that no one will remember him. Seeing as the Great Lakes Avengers are equally as lame, they- What the fuck is that? That's- is that- read- is that Mr. Fantastic- Flatman. That- okay. I see, I thought it was Mr. Fantastic doing a bit. Like, wouldn't it be so funny if I just made myself really- That must suck, actually. Flat Stanley. <laughs> Is that the blob? Isn't the blob one of those? Like a villain? They make him a deal. Or fight. He's embarrassing as the Great Lakes Avengers are equally as lame. They make him a deal. They promise to remember him and spread the word about how great of a villain he was. Aww. So long as he surrenders himself. And so, Asbestos Man turns himself in and passes away shortly after. Aww. Around the same time as Asbestos Lady, DC were also churning out their fair share of stupid villains. Name you had one. The Fiddler, Kite Man, Polka Dot Man, and one of my favourites, Angle Man. I kind of liked Polka Dot Man. I've seen the that movie. The Fiddler is... What does he do, I wonder? Is he just the devil? <laughs> There's like a song about the devil and fiddling, right? And who is he fighting? Who's that? Kite Man, Polka Dot Man, and one of my favorites. Kite Man actually does sound pretty scary, though. I actually, I actually think Kite Man could be scary because he's just a normal guy that can fly, but like he could, like he he could, like do an airstrike on you, right? Or he could like shoot you from the sky. If there is a guy who could really control a kite well. It could, like, I don't know, like a hang glider, but he's really good at it, and he could move it up and down. He could probably shoot a lot of people. Kite Man is a terrorist. Yeah, 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 It's like a jetpack, right? One fire arrow, and he's good for it. Okay, so you have Arrow Guy. Arrow Guy is not very common. There's, like, one Arrow Guy on both sides. You gotta call him up. He might be busy. It's Angle Man, who was an enemy of Wonder Woman. So you have Wonder Woman, this near-invincible goddess, man? versus a normal man with a protractor. That's it. He just, what he would just, he do? He just, that looks like a dangerous weapon, though. He just likes measuring things with his protractor. That's his whole thing. And you know what? He almost wins. Like, <laughs> multiple times. If the 1940s- It seems like a weapon, though. Like, that shit's kind of sharp. I don't know why we're making fun- Well, that's not what this is. Well, I guess sort of. He had, he had, like, the sharp one. Sharp. <laughs> oh, shit! That's a lethal weapon. <laughs> I would die to that. Angle, the angle man would kill me. He's marked the birth of stupid villains. It was really the 60s where they got to shine. In fact, you could call it... That's a compass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the golden age of dumb villains. And it was basically all Daredevil's fault. You see, while Spider-Man was fighting Doctor Octopus and the Fantastic Four were fighting Doctor Doom, uh -huh. Daredevil had Stiltman, Leapfrog, and Pastepot Pete. Now, I've spoken about Pastepot Pete on this channel Ooh. before, but he's definitely worth mentioning again. Peter Petruski was a scientist who created this special kind of paste, and so he used it to create a paste gun and commit petty crimes. Like Perhaps glue? Like by paste we mean glue, right? His most notable appearance is when he tried to- Why? His real name is Pete, and he calls himself Paste Pot Pete. I feel like you're kind of giving it away a little bit, right? Like, you can't have your name in the in the villain name. Wait, isn't Dr. Doom's real name? Isn't his last name Doom? He probably changed that shit. Come bleach. That shit would not be sticky. But it would clean your floors real well. To fight sp Victor Von Doom. That's not his real name, though, right? He probably got that changed. Did you guys see that TikTok <laughs> with the MF Doom and the Slender Man? <laughs> Did you guys see that? Okay, hold on. Oh, the fucking... It's so stupid. This shit... Hearing these strange sounds coming from the I don't know why this shit made me laugh. But, uh, I, I really liked this. I love MF Doom shit posts. They're so good. Hearing these strange sounds coming from the kitchen. Holy 
love you. It's the Slender Man. And he's cooking hot dogs on the stove. Hey, you hungry home invader. Stop waiting on the refrigerator. Yikes. He just whacked me with a warm wiener. <laughs> It's so good. It's fantastic. MF Doom shit is so fucking funny. Jelly. <laughs> oh, I, I see. I haven't seen the one with the. Uh, I haven't seen the the audio one. Hold on. <laughs> so take that peanut butter, a little bit of jelly, yum. Put it in your belly, smoke a little bit, puts me down like old Yelly. Mr. President, I'm afraid Doom is more powerful than ever before. I, it's, it's so good. Why do you always rap about food, huh? <laughs> Why is it always food with him? He's so hungry. Brother <laughs> was hungry. I was never a huge fan of Doom, but I feel like I appreciate him more now. Right? Like, I, I kind of, like, as time goes on, I'm like, he really had a vibe, though. You know? He had his own sort of uh, lane, and he carved it for himself. Have you listened to his albums? I got into him when he was, like, big on the Adult Swim shit, because I found, like, him through Adult Swim, and I was like, oh, this guy's pretty good. But I didn't really, uh, I don't know. I felt kind of silly listening to it because it's like fun and whatever but I'm like there's only his his flow had like one rhythm at that time and I'm like alright well that said the, the rapper that I listen to the most also really only has one rhythm and one gimmick so I don't know <laughs> I get I, 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 I guess it just didn't land Aesop yeah Spider-Man, only for Spider-Man to break down laughing. Eminem, you think Eminem is the one rapper I listen to? Is that you think that that I do I give off Eminem vibes? You think so? Seem like an Eminem guy to you? <laughs> Cause I'm white. Okay, I can't. Okay, thanks, War Piggy, for the two gifties. Name so much so that Spider-Man couldn't finish the fight because he just found it so. Aesop raps about cats and cars. He does, yeah, or donuts. He made that song about his cat, and I'm like, dude, I don't care about this. <laughs> Good for you. I don't care. Well, hilarious. And later on, when Pete tries to change his name, calling himself the Traps. Kirby is fire. Relax. Sir, Spider-Man doesn't forget about it and makes fun of him anyway. Thanks, the Tay-Tay. I'm not paying attention. Spider-Man to break down laughing at his name. So much so that Spider-Man couldn't finish the fight because he just Stop found it laughing! So hilarious. And later on, when Pete tries to change his name, calling himself the Trapster, Spider-Man doesn't forget about it and makes fun of him anyway. Pete spent many, <laughs> many years as the Trapster, but more recently he changed his name back to Pastebot Pete. Oh hell no, he got a little sleepy hat. Oh, he's about to go for a snooze. Why you got the purple and the green? I feel like that's a faux pas. Thank you, War Piggy, for the five gifties. I'm the piggy now. Thank you. That I shouldn't have done that. That felt too far. Thank you. This was so he could use his ridiculous. That was definitely too far. My bad. To his In the pursuit of art, sometimes we push the envelope beyond uh, conventional me measures. Advantage as everyone. If there is a villain, would you call the police or Spider-Man? Well, you don't call Spider-Man. You just yell. I would call the cops and then yell, Spider-Man, help! I don't think Spider-Man is a number. Would be too. How would you call Spider-Man? Yelling. Busy laughing at him to actually stop him committing crimes. It's a nice little tale Sorry, of Zeta to pace okay. Pete. Sp okay. Pete. Shut up. This was so he could use his ridiculous reputation to his advantage, as everyone would be. T Thanks, Sh I don't know how to say your name. Shthrini? I'm j I just say shiny. I'm gonna say shiny. Thank you. Too busy. Oh, is it Shenny like an E? This was so he could use his ridiculous like reputation to his advantage, as everyone would be too busy laughing at him to actually stop him committing crimes. It's a nice little uh, tale of self-acceptance and using your own the flaws Omega to your own benefit. Villain, yeah. DC, on the other hand, had the Clock King. Oh my god. If you look at this guy, maybe you're thinking, oh, someone who can slow down time. Okay, he... 
No. Okay, so he doesn't have time powers. He... What does he do? He he makes you... He knows when you're going to die. An impending doom thing. Like, he, he displays how much time you have left. He knows when you're awake. <laughs> Santa? I think he's probably... He has precognition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he knows when you'll die. He has something to do with fate, or he knows when things will happen. Right? Or reverse it, or something along those lines. Yeah. Uh, no, he just likes clocks. He will rob clock stores, businesses that have something to do with clocks in their name. Banks? I guess banks have clocks in them. So he's just... He's neurodivergent, I think, is the... Just, dude really just likes clocks. Hyper obsessed. Yeah, he just fucking... He fucking loves clocks. <laughs> ASD moment? Could have been really into trains or... <laughs> it has to be clocks, huh? Does clocks? All right, sure. Clocks and Bionicle lore. Eventually the Green Arrow man... Oh, man. Manages to catch him. And Monthly hyperfixation? <laughs> Imagine an ASD superhero who has a new fixation every season, every three months. A new thing that he's really into. Put him in jail. But when it comes to Clock King, there's more to it than meets the eye. <laughs> Clock King's real name is William Talkman, who commits crimes in order to pay for his terminally ill sister's. Tr oh, what the fuck? Treatment. He's Mr. Freeze. What the fuck? This is sad now. Wait, okay, if you had to rob a store to pay for your terminally ill family member, you could do better than a clock store. What about a bank? Or Fort Knox? But he likes clocks. That doesn't... Hawkman, who commits crimes in order to pay for his terminally ill sister's treatment. When he himself is diagnosed with six months to live, oh my God. he dresses up in a clock costume, this being tragic symbolism for how he's running out of time. Oh my God. But when the Green Arrow stops him and he's stuck in jail, there's no one to help his sister, and so she dies alone. And to make things even worse, the doctor gave him the wrong diagnosis and he's actually fine. What? So this whole thing was for nothing. What the when fuck? When he gets out of jail, he swears revenge on the Green Arrow and confronts him on top of a clock tower. It's almost a triumphant plan, until at the last minute when he gets punched in the head and goes back to jail. This is quite a sad story, but it wasn't the first time-related bad guy that DC had put oh out. Oh my god, Just dude! Just two years prior, DC came out with Calendar Man. He ah, this guy got a glow-up, though. Calendar Man could go crazy, actually. No, 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 no. Calendar Man, I don't know if it was the Vision from the Arkham games, but this guy could go, this guy could go a little nuts, right? Save the date. <laughs> yeah, I think I think this guy, like, you know, I think the there's something about the impending uh anxiety about like a big a day a big day or a date coming up and not knowing if he's gonna do something, right? There's some like domestic terrorism angle where it's like, oh shit. If you guys weren't around for nine eleven, but every year after uh two thousand one and nine eleven, everybody's like uh -huh. Every single year, people, uh, seriously. And, like, for every holiday after, right? Like, it was, like, for uh, for 4th of July. Oh, my God, I thought it was over for a decade. It was fucked up. A formidable Batman villain whose crimes would always have something to do with a specific date or season. Like most of these villains, he didn't actually have any powers, and he'd always get beaten up and go to jail in the same issue. <laughs> oh, that was man. until the entire DC universe was rebooted, don't worry about it, does that all the time, and Calendar Man was reimagined as an insane, brutal criminal whose obsession with calendars drove him mad, and he was institutionalized at Arkham Asylum. Dude, I used to think that, like, Batman was, like, edgy, try-hard, cringy, whatever. But as I get older, like, Batman is super interesting, right? Kind of fascinating. It's great. I'm way more into Batman than I used to be. I used to be like, eh, fucking edgy bullshit, you know what I mean? But, like, he's both, depends on the writer. Well, that's what's cool, is, like, he's like a blank canvas. I feel like Batman could be, I read, uh, I've read a, 
a bunch of like I only read self-contained stuff because I feel like the main comic is way too fucking long. But I read a uh, Serious House on Serious Earth. I just read Long Halloween. I've been trying to read Year One. Like, there's a lot of cool shit. Apparently, the animated series is really funny. What about Superman? I I think Superman is like, I'm way more interested in Lex Luthor. I always say Luthor because that's what I heard in a comic, uh, in a cartoon once. I think Luther, Lex Luthor. I think Lex is really interesting. I actually have the comic. I don't know if it's here. Yeah, I have it. Hold on. I only have a couple of these because I'm not a fucking geek. Don't laugh, okay? There's a lot of dust on it. This is the only. Th I have this, okay? <laughs> you see? I got this. This is the Luthor one. See Luthor again. There you go. And I have Killing Joke and Watchmen. Down there. There. And on the other side. Dude, Flintstones goes crazy. Dude, the Flintstones uh, comics or graphic... Dude, they're good. They're good, good. Seriously. The Flintstones reboot is excellent. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, I have Flintstones, The Max, which is probably one of my favorites of all time. Uh, Black Hole? Yeah, Black Hole. I almost said Black Mirror. Uh, and a bunch of crossed, <laughs> which I would not recommend. Did you say Flintstones graphic novel? Yeah, it's really good. Get Invincible? Shut up. The Max is really good. Do not read crossed. I have the cross tattoo. What the fuck? On your face? <laughs> like on the fucking... Crossed is really bad. Uh, it's made by the guys who, or the guy that made The Boys. And if you've heard about The Boys comic, it's that. Crossed is literally just like, what kind of fucked up shit can I put in a comic? It's really bad. Isn't The Boys comic bad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crossed is really bad, but for like ultra violence. It's sort of a, a it was like a, a shitty, cur not a shitty curiosity, yeah! a morbid curiosity. Like, how bad is this? Ironically, this is bad. I think you would like Thanos. The prequel to Infinity Gauntlet with Silver Surfer. See, there's too much lore, man. Like, Infinity War and Crusade are good too, but that's more Adam Warlock. I'm, I'm one of those people that, like, I like to start at the beginning and go to the end. That's why I don't like Star Wars, because I started at episode one. Everybody says, oh, I started episode three, episode four, or whatever. And, like, okay, I guess, but I've got to watch everything. And I know I'm eventually going to get to one and two, and I'm not going to like them. So I'm not going to watch them. Um, but, yeah, I, I feel like I have to watch everything or read everything. The boy's author sucks at writing, but everybody says Preacher, right? Did you do Sandman? No, that's Neil. Is that Gaiman? Neil Gaiman? Have you ever read Spawn? No, I used to have a... There was a... Uh, my mom dated a guy who was really into Spawn. And so that was my first exposure, but no, not... No. Have you ever read manga? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I actually... The, I, I, I thought about reading... Uh, Ito? Is that his name? Junji Ito? I don't know how... Junji? Uh, no, I'm probably saying that wrong. Or Berserk. Berserk seems very interesting to me, but I don't know how to get started. So, yeah. Upon seeing this, Marvel fired back with the Living Eraser, our cool criminal okay. who's obsessed. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> with calendars drove him mad. <laughs> Coney, it's not manga; it's a comic book. Also, Coney, the Flintstones graphic novel is so interesting. It is. They're just like us. They're from the Stone Age, but they have the same problems we do. There's a thing about religion. And if and if 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 humans are meant to be monogamous and married, it's a good book. Mad, and he was institutionalized at Arkham Asylum. Upon seeing this, they really Marvel are a modern Stone Age family. So true. Well, fired back with the living eraser. He erases people. Eraser? Not to be confused with the eraser Nazi. But it was the 1970s when things Damn. were to be confused. Marvel fired that back guy with seems the kinda, living eraser. That guy seems kind of busted, right? Is it better to erase people or just kill them? Because, like, erasing feels like a, a bridge to... You could just shoot the guy, right? I don't know why you gotta, like... 
What's the difference? Does erasing, like, erase all memory and concept of you now and forever? Or is it just, like, erasing is too evil? <laughs> Does erasing mean everybody forgets him? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> erasing absolves you of the crime. That's true. There's no evidence if you're erased. That's best. a good point. Does the Flintstones comic like accurately like portray the feeling of a panic attack? Not that I've seen, but I only watched or read the first two episodes or comics i don't know the first two anthologies so maybe eventually i'm sure is this comic right yeah this is the one wait is there a fred flintstone ai voice no way right <gasps> come on oh it's broken why is he built like Man of Steel? Have you ever seen Fred Flintstone? Dude is huge. He's a big guy. Oh, you can't even see what he wrote, what he says. <laughs> Marriage is like insurance. You only enter into a lifetime commitment because you're afraid of the future. But does being married mean she'll love me forever? Is just my attempt to keep her from finding somebody better? Is marriage really a sacred bond or just the illusion of security? Damn, Fred. Dabba, dabba, do. He erases people, not to be confused with the eraser Nazi, but it was the 1970s the when vibes. things were really Damn, taken Brett. to the next level, as it marks the creation of two of... Sp Why does bro know about insurance? What do you mean? Spider-Man's <laughs> most iconic villains, the Big Wheel and the Wall. The Big Wheel... I want to see what the Wall is. I know about Big Wheel. What's the deal with the Wall? Was a corrupt businessman driven to the... I'm yabba dabba depressed. ...brink of suicide after being blackmailed. Instead of offing himself, however, he commissioned a giant armored <laughs> hamster wheel to get revenge on everyone who'd done him wrong. Honestly, W, whatever helps you. Get out of that pit of despair. Cool, man. That's quite a jump. <laughs> this ended up with him accidentally rolling off a bridge, and he was thought to have drowned. But the story <laughs> doesn't end there. Oh. Turns out he survived the river and went to prison. And it was there he was entered into a reformation program for supervillains. Oh, cool. Having Good become a new man, he returned as the big wheel years later to help Spider-Man fight crime. Oh. He's not exactly the best at it, though, and fails to stop both Stiltman and the Shocker. Realizing that he's not fit to the be a shocker? superhero, Big Wheel chooses a different career path. Who's the Shocker? Is he different from Electro? See, that's the problem, is they got, like, six different... Like, when I saw Captain Cold in Injustice, I'm like, you got Captain Cold and Mr. Freeze? What the fuck? He's different. Okay. Shocker is very lame. It was crazy to me that between Injustice 1 and Injustice 2, they were able to just, like, okay, uh, Deathstroke is now the... the who the Who's the other fucking guy? There's Deathstroke and the Slate guy. What's the... The shooting guy. Deadshot. Deathstroke and Deadshot. Same fucking guy. Mr. Freeze and Captain Cold. You can just switch them out. There's so much of that. It's so annoying. I hate DC. Performing at monster truck rallies where he finally gets the respect he so desperately desired. Much like Paddington 2, the big wheel takes a silly, childlike concept and uses it to advocate for prison reform amid a corrupt system. I've never seen Paddington 2. Uh, shut the fuck up about Paddington 2. I'm not gonna watch it. The wall- Kona, you have to see the shocker clip. Wait, that's the shocker? <laughs> Get back here, shocker! <laughs> shocker! Oh my god. What the fuck is that?! You can't escape me! I'll chase you to the ends of the earth! Is that Venom? <laughs> He's so mad. Let me see if I can find this clip. <gasps> I found it immediately. This is this used to be in a YouTube poop. <laughs> and me and my friends still reference it all the time. This is the I don't even know. I think it's Electro. I love this shit. Looks like you're a born loser. I fucking love that clip. I love that so much. Looks like you're a born. I love that so much. I love Electra just riding Looks out. Looks like you're a born <laughs> loser. There's an Looks old YouTube. Like there's an old YouTube poop of this. I wish I could find it. 
Do you guys have a white... Uh, you guys don't know YouTube poop. I have, like, three white whale YouTube poops that I'll never find again. And I remember them vividly. And they hold a special place in my head, and I'll never find them. And this, I think, is one of them. But another one is Sesame Street. Like, I'm, I'm never gonna find it. I've been looking for it, but... Which ones? There's one where a guy flirts with Oscar. He says, Oh, Oscar, your eyes are beautiful. You found any new, terrific new hats lately? And I don't know, like, I don't know how to search for it. I can't find it. I've seen that? Is it this? Oh, th this is the Electro one, yeah. Yeah. Looks like you're a born <laughs> loser. This one's easy, though. Looks like you're a. I don't know why that shit was so funny to us. Watching YouTube poops now, none of them are funny. They're not funny at all. We laughed at everything back in the day. We really did. We really did. I made a YouTube poop where uh, it's Hotel Mario, the intro, where Mario reads the letter. It's from Bowser, except he's illiterate. So it was called, like, Hotel Mario, but Mario can't read. And he's like, dear p p p piss p <laughs> It was pretty funny. It was funny. I don't even th I don't know if it exists anymore. You're a born loser. <laughs> I thought this was the video we were watching. <laughs> My bad. My bad. That sounds unironically funny. It was really funny. It was funny. It was very funny. We laughed at a dinosaur ye thing. That shit was never funny. Ye is not funny. Uh, you know what was funny? Animal Soccer World is extremely funny. Where's the part with the... <laughs> Where's the goose? Uh, ee, uh, ee, uh. <laughs> Hold on. I fucking love Animal Soccer World. Is it not a goose? Where is it? Oh, here's where they play the music. Where? I thought it was during the game. Maybe not. Shit feel like old grounds, yeah. It's near the start? Oh, here it is. Yeah, 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 it's her. Yeah, as far as I know, people always get hurt. That's great. I will get my emergency kit right away. But hey, it's better than nothing. Where is she? <laughs> Where is she? When does she run? It's her first line, is it? <laughs> Forgot about the bear. Oh. Found it. It's driving me crazy. Oh my god. She's an ambulance. She is. I love this video so much. Yeah, this video rules. Animal Soccer World is fantastic. It's very good. Is this the Oscar one? Hold on. Lance. I don't think here. so. Let's see what Oscar's up to this it's time. Not. Oh, oh Oscar? Yeah. Oscar, what are you doing? What trash all over here? What are you doing? Uh no, it's not this one. Oh, Oscar? Why was he orange, actually? I don't know. Uh, Animal Soccer World, have you guys, I've realized also, hold on. I've realized that a lot of people probably have never seen this, and I don't think I've talked about it in a long time. If you have never seen Wizard People, Dear Reader, I would highly recommend it. It is exceptionally funny. It is the first two and a, it, it, it's the, it's the first Harry Potter movie. But somebody dubbed over the entire thing. Not to like do the character voices. Way up his sleeve. But Big like snake. It is a beautiful moment indeed. But like to pretend like he's reading the book. 
and Harry, for once, feels in tune with the natural universe. It's extremely the funny. Has no parents. Is also uh, I got leopard, told. No parents. I got told I look like this guy a lot. Frank Rich and kid. Beef. You don't. You don't. You don't. Thank you. I don't look like cousin Beefy Weefs. Be honest. Be on. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> wait. Actually. Guys, come on. Guys. Oh, no. Uh, no, right? No. Like a cousin or something? Yeah, like a relative, a distant relative, right? Like. You know what sucks? That's not even the only Harry Potter person people said that I looked like. He's this fucking geek. <laughs> Who said this asshole too? But not when he's like cool and handsome, but when he's like ugly. Hold on. Yeah, that one. That's not a good picture. Maybe that one. I hate being white, dude. Being white sucks. Not even close, just a white guy. Good, okay. <laughs> I'm just every fucking white guy. It's even worse when I have a hat. <laughs> okay, back to this, by the way. Sired. Much like Paddington 2, the big wheel takes a... You look like Dudders. Dudders? ...silly, childlike concept, and uses it to advocate for prison reform amid a corrupt system. Childlike Is that... Concept and uses Is that the guy from that, that movie where he cuts off his fingers? I forget what that guy's name is. Yeah? He was in Gangs of New York. I love that actor. He's in Paddington? Maybe I will watch it. Is it to advocate for prison reform Banshee, amid a corrupt cool. system? The Wall, on the other Brandon hand, Gleason. was a high school it. student who was crushed by some bricks, which magically transformed him into a living brick wall. <laughs> but, uh, that's all there is to him. Ah! Right now we're in the 80s, and while the number of wacky supervillains kind of slowed down, there were still some memorable ones, such like as who? Slide, another Spider-Man villain who used non-stick cooking oil to slip around everywhere. There was also that an X-Men like villain called... Ice cream, whose power was that he could turn into any flavor of ice cream that he wanted, including banana split. But this was just the cam before this. How would you use that? Any flavor? I can't think of a single way to... To entice your foes? To what, though? Would you turn... Did you turn into ice cream and then you, you rematerialize inside them and they blow up? Like Ant-Man. Like what the whole Ant Man climbing into your butt thing, is it like that? You turn into the bank teller's favorite flavor of ice cream. Ah, persuasion angle. Got a split, then he turns into a banana split and leaves. <laughs> Storm, also known as the '90s, which were a very dark time for comic books. Sales figures were dwindling. Oh my god, what is that? Characters were getting edgy makeovers to make them look cool again. But that didn't mean there weren't any I've never seen Superman villains. with a mullet. What the fuck is that? Why are the controls on his chest? I don't think I have to explain this, but... Who is oh well. that? When Codpiece was in high school... Codpiece? He was rejected by a girl who said he wasn't big enough. Oh my fucking god. Now, what she meant was that he wasn't tall enough. However, he misinterpreted this statement and got to work building this. As stupid as this may be, it's actually pretty efficient. It shoots bullets, it's got a drill for breaking into bank vaults, and it's also got a retractable boxing glove. Do you need boxing- do you need bullets and a boxing glove? Pick one or the other! The bullets are fine! Do you need to, like, knock somebody out and not kill them? Imagine getting dick punched. I would be so angry if I got mugged by this asshole. What is your problem, you insecure piece of shit? Unfortunately for Codpiece, he is- This is something you would make in your version of Pokemon. That's true, actually. If I made Pokemon, I would make a Codpiece guy. Dick split! 
confronted by the Doom Patrol and defeated in the worst way humanly possible. Codpiece does not hold a candle, however, to Dog Welder, who, Wait. fortunately for Codpiece, he is confronted by the Doom Patrol and defeated in the worst way. I don't know who the Doom Patrol are. A humanly possible. Codpiece does not hold a candle, however, to Dog Welder, who welds dead dogs onto people's faces, and when he runs out of dogs, he goes into an alleyway to kill some more. Oh my god! Holy shit! It's like they brought a bunch of, like, adolescents into a room and said, like, we're gonna make the most evil superhero ever. What should we do? How about a guy that catches dogs and then puts them onto people's faces? The dogs are dead, by the way. This is sadistic. I know he's technically not a villain. Kill this guy ASAP. If you see Dog Welder, take immediate action. Shoot him in the fucking head. He's the most evil, yeah. Like, come on, that's pretty fucking evil. Oh my These God. villains are just plain ridiculous. Gotcha! <laughs> you, guys, you guys get to see this, right? Kapow! That's fun. You can take one look at them and see everything you need to know about them. But there are some villains that, while they may not look so ridiculous from the outside, they still have some really stupid motivations or evil plans. Take Sauron, for example. <laughs> Not only did he just Everybody's steal seen his this name panel, from right? Lord of the Rings, Everybody's but his evil this. plan is to turn everyone... Wait, did he really did he get his... Oh my god, he really did. He got his name from Tolkien. I did not know that. Just ...steal his name from the Lord of the Rings, but his evil plan is to turn everyone on Staten Island into dinosaurs by completely rewriting their DNA. However, as Spider-Man rightly points out, yeah. if he can rewrite DNA, he could easily cure cancer. To which Sauron famously responds, I don't want to cure cancer, <laughs> I want to turn people into dinosaurs. One of my favorites is- Honestly, I, I respect that writer so much. Whoever wrote that down and put it on the panel deserves a raise for their conviction. The level of conviction there is honestly admirable. To be like, you know what? I'm not. I could write this convoluted ass backstory where like he he got into dinosaurs as a kid and his teacher reprimanded him or something. Or, you know, fuck it. No, he just likes dinosaurs. Yet again, a another daredevil villain called the Matador. Now, say what you want about his costume or his tragic backstory as uh -huh. a bullfighter, but you can't deny the sheer genius of his plan to defeat Daredevil. To cover him with a big cloth <laughs> so that he can't see. Wop. <laughs> it pleases me to humiliate you instead as a lesson to others. Ole! He's just a hockey player. But I think that every villain I've That guy rules. I love that guy. That's cool as shit. Imagine. Oh my god. Souls game. Like like a Batman Arkham game, but it's more Soulsy, and you have to fight the Matador. He would piss me off so much. Have a grapple move that puts you under the cape. So far, all these <laughs> ridiculous. I'm telling you. Ridiculous ideas. They all pale in comparison to one villain in particular. Who? And this character wasn't created by Marvel or DC. Instead, he's That's in the public Batman. domain, so anyone is free to use him however they like. His name is Brickbat. First appearing in the 1942 issue of Police Comics. I was right, by the he way. was a nameless, faceless criminal who put on a Batman mask and killed people with bricks. He refused to explain his motivations or why he was dressed up as a bat and got killed in one punch before he could elaborate. He is truly the godfather of all ridiculous comic villains. Uh, he's just, uh, he's a normal criminal that just found a mask in the gutter. That's... What is, like, this... There has to be some symbolism here, right? Like, there, there has to be something here about how Batman's an everyman and anybody could be... Ba it's just a guy who found an extra mask. Now, as entertaining as... It's a just a shitpost. <laughs> a lot of these villains are. I haven't exactly answered the video's title. Why are these villains so dumb in the first place? Damn, we only have three minutes left and he hasn't even touched it. One answer would be drugs. Who knows what Marvel and DC were doing behind closed doors, That's especially easy. during That's the cheap. 70s. Come I know on. these companies have Come publicly on. condemned some- What were they on? Mario eats mushrooms and gets bigger? Substance abuse many, many times, but let's be honest, could a sober mind really have invented animal, vegetable, mineral man? Probably not. 
My theory, however, is slightly less extreme and also way more believable. What were Most comic smoking? books come out once a month, and so the writer will have one month to finish writing a script. That is, if they're only working on one comic. Back in the 60s, Stan Lee was working on Spider-Man, The Hulk, The Fantastic Four, The X-Men, uh, yeah. Thor, Iron Man, Avengers, Daredevil... You got too much shit, just, uh, yeah, Batman. just go into the dictionary and pick out a noun. ...to name a few, all at the same time. And yes, Air there is an argument man. to be made yeah. about how much input the writer really has on the story compared to the artist sure. and who really deserves most of the credit. Ah, fuck it, dog welder. Point is... He probably pulled out the dictionary. Dog... <laughs> uh, welder. It's perfect. One of my favorite shows right now is Smiling Friends. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's a good show. It's a very good show. Honestly, the cool thing about Smiling Friends is that it feels different. It's so hard to feel different. You know what I mean? When you make shit. But it feels different. It's very unique. The creators don't give a shit if you pirate it. But in one of their interviews, they were talking about how stressful it was to make. How they were mere minutes away from a deadline, and they still hadn't... Th Wait, is he always pointing a gun at his head? Yeah, this guy's... The whole story is that he's going to do it if they don't make him happy. And uh, can I spoil? I shouldn't spoil. Uh, it comes to a happy resolution. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. <laughs> the creators don't give a shit if There's you There's a happy it. resolution. But in one of their interviews, they were talking about how stressful it was to make. How they were mere minutes away from a deadline. It's the first episode? Okay. <laughs> so he always has the gun point on his head. He's like, yeah, I'm going to do it unless you guys make me happy. And he does a bunch of shit. And he doesn't feel happy. And then he kills a bug, and he's like, oh, killing makes me happy. And he becomes uh, an, uh, what's the word? Exterminator. That's, that's the, uh, that's how it ends. So murdering makes him happy. But they're bugs. So it's not real. It's a good show. It's a very good show. Killing Friends. If you haven't seen it. Go watch it. The creators don't give a shit if you- Mr. Frog is great. I like the- I forget what his name is. The little guy with the hat that doesn't talk. He's my favorite. Plim? Is that it? Glep? Glep. He pirated. That's but in one of I their like interviews, that. they were talking about how stressful it I was like to make. How they were mere minutes away from a deadline, and they still- They were talking he does about look how like stressful- Go watch it. The creators- He looks a lot like Nirad, actually. Except, like, different sliders on the Bethesda scale. Don't give yeah. a shit if you pine it's away from a deadline, and they still hadn't finished one of their scripts. Like, script. Bethesda, it's like if you if you pick the near it preset, and then you hit square to randomize. And so, in the sheer panic of the moment, they just said, fuck it, we're just gonna put down the most random, nonsensical bullshit and call it a day. And you know what? It turned out to be one of the best jokes in the whole series. The reason I bring this up out of nowhere is because oh, is it? it Wait, the Renaissance the men? Of deadlines. <laughs> when you're under that much pressure, you don't That's have funny. time to spend ages I don't want to spoil carefully it, crafting yeah. a masterpiece or get anxious about what people are going to think. You can't stop to think about whether... I'm going to steal your space bar? Well, you're going to have to do it in a couple minutes. Guys, I don't have a snooze. I'm so sorry. This video is almost over. Go ahead and subscribe to Twitch Prime if you don't want ads. Otherwise, you got to pay $5. I'll see you soon. I'm so sorry. I snoozed a lot. I, I just... I've been pausing a bunch. I've been talking. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but listen, we, you're going to be out of there soon. I'm going to get you out of there. Just wait a couple minutes. Maybe you'll only get one ad, all right? But you should probably subscribe just to be safe. You might only get one ad or you might get like 30. I don't know. You, you should subscribe just to make sure that you don't lose too much, right? So go ahead, subscribe, and then I'll see you guys right now. You won't have to wait for the ads to be done. Go ahead, subscribe. Drop a Twitch Prime. I'll see you soon. Hey, we could hit 2,800 tonight, guys. Wouldn't that be nice if we did that? Come on. We can make it. Diltman is too silly. Or I got 11 ads? God damn, you're subbed. You did not. If he's not compelling enough, because otherwise you won't be able to pay your rent. Often having too much time can be a setback, <laughs> because you'll be too busy <laughs> trying Spider -Man, to something sick. and then nothing will get done. Meanwhile, Stan Lee over here has created 20 villains in the same week, and while a lot of them are pretty stupid, <laughs> there are some that ended up being really special. Honestly, honestly, I respect this grind. To just make, just throw a bunch of shit at the wall and be like, yeah, this hurt, this works. Yeah, this, this can, this can, this has legs. I think this could stand for a little while. I, I think there's nobility in that. It's the Stephen King approach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if a car killed people? What if a dog killed people? <laughs> what if uh, people killed people, but then they got brought back?
Because all of these iconic characters, like the Love Joker that. and the Green Goblin... What if a tire killed people? I don't think that's him. All these villains that we celebrate today King. started off as these What if a clown killed people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. ...that were just as laughable as someone like Kite Man. The one thing they all have in common is that they all came from someone's purely instinctual and honest Thanks, desire Roots. to create. Thank you, Godoy, for the five gifts. the only way you can make the iconic good things five making gifts. bad Love things. That. Thank and you, you can't Hemo. make bad things if you don't make anything. Thank that's you true. for coming to my TED Talk. For any casual viewers, Good movie. that's it. You can click off now, so yeah. But for those who've been keeping up with the channel, uh, the message of this video is very personal to me because it directly applies to my own comic. I said a while ago that I'd be re- oh, oh, I think I've had enough of that video. <laughs> Feels smooth. That feels so mean. Booting the comics universe I made as a kid, <laughs> so, that I'd be taking these you. wild, a a childlike to the concepts otaku. and thank trying you. to tell a genuinely compelling story oh. that only you can get invested in. And I've been trying. Who's your to favorite Marvel or character? Mine is Carnage. I don't know if I have one. I don't think I I have a favorite superhero. Genuinely, I'm just not built that way. I don't know. Slinking again. I just don't like cape stuff. Everyone likes Spider-Man. Uh. <laughs> if Coney was a villain, he'd be the Slink Man. The human Slinky! Goes downstairs eventually. Doesn't have to be a hero or... I mean, I don't know. I mean, like... I, I, I like... I like I like Batman. I don't really have a favorite. I think Batman's kind of cool, but I feel like that's not. There's a cooler answer. Oh, I fucking like Gambit. Wait a minute. No, I do like Gambit a lot. My problem is that there are so many of them. You know who I actually like a lot? Be only because of his design, and I get so much shit for saying this because apparently he's a piece of shit. I really like Cyclops. I think his design rules. I just like visor shit. I think he's cool as hell. That's the one wrong answer. Everybody tells me he sucks. I don't know. I think he's cool. I think he looks cool, man. For his design? Fuck yeah. I love that visor, dude. I think he's neat. I also really like... Uh, Hold on. I really like... Uh, is it Rogue or Rouge? I don't remember. Her. I think she's cool. I like her a lot. Don't act up. I think she's nice. I like her a bunch. I like Storm. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that, with being mean to that message. I don't know. I, I didn't know where to, like, I, I thank you. Thank you for your contribution. I didn't have a bit there. Yeah, good bit. I don't know. I was going to say didn't ask, but that felt too mean, so I just kind of gave up on it halfway through. I don't know where I was going with that. Thank you, Fabio Prime, because people did ask. So I just kind of abandoned that. My bad. Incredibles is my favorite Pixar movie, but I can't say that because everybody says I look like the fucking guy, so it um doesn't it's not good. All right, I got a movie for you guys. We're gonna do we got more movies. But before we do that, fellas, you know what? It's eight minutes. It's only eight minutes. All right, stick around. Fellas. Hold on. Fellas, do you like sunglasses? Me too. I love sunglasses. And I love some premier, excellently crafted, amazing sunglasses from tonight's partner, Shady Rays. That's right, Shady Rays. Shady Rays is, is sponsoring the stream right now, and we got a bunch of money to spend in the shop. And we're going to take a look at some of these sunglasses. And guys, listen, it's spring now, and it's going to be summer soon. we got to pick up some sunglasses before the sun comes out. So let's go ahead and pick out some sunglasses. Hey, I said I like Cyclops. Maybe I'll get the, I'll get the visor ones, right? I got 150 bucks. So let's go ahead and spend together, shall we? Oh, wait a minute. I like that color. Hold on. 
Can I play? I could play this music, right? Where's my... <laughs> Surely I could do that. Mario 64 sound font. You gain viewers? Hell yeah. Everybody wants to show up with the... With the... Wait. This? <laughs> this is kind of fun. Everybody wants to be a part of the Shady Rays buying experience, and we're going to do that together. Damn! Rainbows! Oh, I like that a lot, actually. Unironically, I love those. All right, that's going in the cart. So I get 150 bucks. Actually, pretty sick. I, I did look at this earlier, and they have some, like, like nice tortoiseshell stuff or things like that. Oh, I like this, too. Oh, they're just kids' glasses? <laughs> and I'm a grown man who said that I would like them. Really? And they're only for they're only for it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, ages 0 to 12. Wait, I could get it for Juliet! Well, she'll be 4 soon, so... Sold out! <laughs> I guess they're pretty popular. Oh, well, I guess so. Yeah, no way that gunshot goes off. <laughs> what is the L there? I was gonna say, no way that gunshot goes off. I saw that. I thought there was something there. Okay, so we gotta pick a style first. Let's pick a style. So I spent, I got 150 and I just put in, how much was that? Oh, actually, before I do this, I should probably do this in incog so I don't leak anything. Where do they put my stuff? Where did the things I just got go? Dude, I just got... Where did they go? They were on the front page. Am I crazy? Oh, there it is. No, no, no. I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> okay, there we go. Hell yeah. Give me that glacier. Yes. Love that. Okay. So, I don't know about you guys. I'm a visor kind of guy. And I was looking down here. These are okay, I think. But this shit... These shits go crazy to me. I don't know why. One lens Andy? Hell yeah. <laughs> it's actually wicked. I love that shit. That's so cool! <laughs> I love that shit, dude. Hell yeah! Do I want the gold splatter? No. That one's not you? You don't think so? You don't think I could rock these? The red ones? He wants to be Cyclops so bad. Should I hit the optic blast, bro? You don't think that's cool? These are so freaking dorky. All right, so you're not one's le one lens Andes. Okay. You pick some, then. What do you want? Actually, I kind of like the wood ones. These are simple. These are like just simple woody, you know what I mean? Are these like for the lenses? Oh, it's lenses and the thing. Okay. Damn, is that green? Copped. Green and brown? That's me, dude. What the fuck? That's beautiful. We like these, right? We like these, right? W? That's dad shades. Those rule. W. All right, sick. Got it. Locked in. Wait. Pro polarized. Uh, what's the, what's the elevated visual experience? Oh fuck yeah, that's what I want. Polarize me, Shady Ray. 3D? I don't think that's what that means. All right, we got three more minutes to pick some. I don't like these. These are too. These seem these feel a little too bikery, right? Too bikey, too thick. I don't like the signature series. I'm not I'm not an aviators guy. I'm not an aviators guy. I used to be, but not really anymore. Light frame, no. Aviator, no. High rise, no. Cypress, no. Deep sea, no. Let us pick. What do you want? 
Ooh, Ventura. Wait. The Crystal Rose looked dope up here. Those are pretty good. I don't like the colors, though, because I don't like purple. And I don't really like the, the rose stuff. React, that's you? Oh, uh, yeah? This one? <laughs> oh, my God. These right here? No, they don't come in colors, though. I thought they would come in cool colors. Skip this shit? No, this song goes crazy. Come on. Titan, upgraded optics. Oakmont, no, I don't want the owl. The owl frame? What's that called? Horn frame, that's it. Like a horned owl. I don't know why my brain went there. Allure, lightweight fashion. Don't like that when the when the things are really light. I don't feel that. I think I go Ventura here. Cause look at these. I, I'm a I'm a sucker for colors, dude. This shit. Oh, well maybe not that actually. Maybe like this. No, that's like camouflaged. Damn, 88 bucks? Got the expensive part. Well, I got two. How much are these? Polarized, pro polar, pro polarized. How much do I have here? 190 for three, 128? I'll probably get these two. Because I get 150. Can I get. Oh, they got blue light. And, wait, blue light? My panda one's broke. I actually might need that. I'll look at it later. Snow goggles, UV shirt. Wait, shirts? <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. If you guys are going to be going outside into the sun, get some UV protection shirts too. Check it out, guys. Only 32 bucks. How much more do I have? I have 150. All right, I'll probably do that with the UV shirt. Guys, check out Shady Ray's. For your next uh, sunglasses experience. You can take on the sun with gear built to last. Our friends have you covered for the warm weather ahead with premium polarized shades at an affordable price. Oh, wait a minute. Dude. Did you guys see the thing in the top? So Shady Rays is giving out their best deal of the, se the season. If you go to ShadyRays.com and use the code TWITCH, you can get 50% off two pairs. Wait, what? I didn't know that. Bro, 50% off two pair. Wait, so if I do this now, is that going to work? Well, I don't have two polarized, but code Twitch. Is it because it's not too polarized or what? Damn! Okay, it takes 50% off one of them. Oh, because it's polarized. I see. Okay. So you can take it off two plus pairs of polarized glasses, it says. What a steal! What about prescriptions? Maybe. All right, I'm going to buy these. I'll do it off stream because I've got. But I I've been longer than eight minutes. And I definitely have uh, I, I have more money to spend. I didn't see the Twitch thing. So, Hey, check out Shady Rays if you're trying to get some uh, sunglasses, you guys. If also, if you don't love your Shady Rays, exchange for a new pair or return them free within 30 days. There's no risk when you shop because their team always has your back. Check out Shady Rays. They're providing much-needed support to nonprofit partners all throughout the U.S. Check it out. His ass is not buying any. Why wouldn't I? They gave me a gift code for 150 and look at the great deal. Check out Shady Rays. Actually, solid sponsor. Unironically, I was interested. Also, my bounty board has Apex Legends, Genshin Impact, Honkai Star Rail, Summoner's War Chronicles. <laughs> Be glad I didn't pick any of those. You're welcome. No real games. They're real. They are real games. Come on. Okay. Apex Bounty would be fun. I, I'm sore about the Apex Bounty because the Apex Bounty is the only bounty I've ever failed. I had to get 500 viewers for the Apex Bounty, and I didn't get it. It was my first bounty I ever failed way back when, a long time ago. All right. 
one more. I'll let you guys pick. Wait. Did I already do that? Okay. We'll stay this time, we swear. No, you won't. <laughs> yeah, I know you won't. You say you will, but you never do. You always say you want gameplay, but you don't mean it. All right. Say, buying an energy drink I'm letting you pick tonight. Top 10 drinks that don't exist anymore. One quick mojo. Or... Ar 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 the Ultimate Arcade Guide Volume 1. <laughs> With all kinds of games within. Damn, the poll's up. That was fast as hell. We're going to watch both at some point. We're going to watch both at some point, but it's one and then the other. It's not a thing. don't want to watch your elephant video. I don't want to watch this. I do want to watch this, though. I'm going to make a playlist. Top 10 drinks? You got it. We need an Anton Chigger emote. <laughs> what would it even be? This one's really good. Cold. Oh, it's the whole album? I don't even know this whole album. I've never been into Radiohead. I don't know any of these, actually. Cringe. <laughs> I only know Creep, which means Tom York probably hates me. These are the top 10 drinks that don't exist anymore. Uh-oh. If you wanted these drinks, you're not going to get them. Sorry. Have you considered Four Loco? Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today, we're counting down... Wait, Four Loco? I thought they're still around. ...on our picks for the top 10 drinks that don't exist anymore. You really like it? No, I hate it. For this list, we'll be looking at drinks that made an impact despite having a short shelf life. What's your what the fuck? Looking at drinks that made an impact despite having a short shelf life. That's bubblegum soda. That sounds disgusting. Why would you ever? That's Pepto Bismol. Yeah, it's so fizzy though. Oh my god, dude. That doesn't look horrible, but not good. I mean, like you don't want the taste to drink though. Like, your body doesn't drink gum. You know what I mean? It kind of, like, rejects it. Life. What's your favorite Ugh. discontinued drink? Let us know in the comments below. I'm actually a fan of Surge. I know Surge is going to be in here. Surge is good. But it's bad for you. Surge will kill you. I love Surge. Number 10. Pepsi Holiday Spice. Pepsi isn't afraid to lean into more unique flavors, what kind of... such as 2023's Peeps flavored Pepsi. Horrible. I can't believe I bought this. I was at the gas station, and I, I had the curiosity, and I was so regretful for the rest of the day. It was so bad, dude. And 2004's Holiday Spice So Pepsi. bad. It was not bad. Call it. Sally, I need you to call it. You can get out of it if you drop that prime. I see you have a prime. And don't tell me that you don't. I see the crown next to your name. Drop that prime and I'll let you get away with it. You can buy your way out. Otherwise, call it. Axe has it. I'm sorry. Call it. Everything you've ever done in your life has led up to this moment. Heads? People are getting lucky tonight. 
Originally released as a limited edition holiday flavor, People are getting so the lucky cinnamon tonight. flavored beverage was an unexpected Crazy. fan favorite. Customers enjoyed the distinctive yet delicious taste and were never saying anything the... again. Good. I scared you into silence. It didn't work on any of these schmucks. Seemed to some of you guys have sense. Brand discontinued the flavor. Many felt <laughs> that the flavor wasn't holiday specific and could be sold year round. People were even more disappointed when Pepsi only brought the flavor back in 2006, only to discontinue it again. What is a holiday spice? Like cinnamon? Some fans have even gone so far as to start petitions to bring the flavor back. Nutmeg? And Pepsi hasn't Sounds announced gross. anything yet, they're still holding out hope. Number nine, Fruitopia. Fruit flavored tea is that like just Snapple Fanta? hit a spike in popularity. Oh, it's Snapple. Yeah. Thank you, Compton. Other brands throwing their hat into the ring. That's the what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about Fruitopia. By Minute Maid. Don't these still exist? Do they? I don't think so. Fire drinks. I think they're gone. In a wide variety of flavors, such as kiwi berry ruckus and raspberry psychic lemonade. However, what set this I drink apart Mojo from music. others was the unique branding. The commercials were psychedelic. Yeah, it was like kaleidoscope a kaleidoscope. Inspired. And some even featured songs from popular artists. Like, like who? Cocteau Twins and Kate Bush. Kate Bush. The beverage right, was even cool, mentioned in an episode of The Simpsons. Awesome. I wanted cool. to see your YouTube. Wait, Alpharad Raid? Wait, are you kidding me? This was the last movie of the night. Alpharad, I had a bounty. I should play Genshin Impact. Wait a minute. I have Genshin Impact, Honkai Star Rail, Summoner. How long do these take to download? How long do the bounties take to download? There's got to be a way. Honkai Star Rail? Can I play that right away? Honkai Star Rail. Honkai is quick? Guys! Fellas, thanks for stopping by. Alfred, thank you for the... Oh, my God. Is it on my phone? Windows. Guys, thanks for stopping by. We're watching the top 10 drinks that don't exist anymore. If you're here right away, listen, I get it's a, I get that it's a raid and you're not going to stick around for too long. But go ahead and drop a follow so you'll always know when I'm streaming so you can come back next time, all right? I know you're not going to stick around. I saw Jacob was playing Mario Pinball Land. I actually loved that game. I played it as a kid, and I don't know why everybody hated it because I really like it along with Pokemon Pinball. I think it's nice. I'm not going to play it. You already saw people watch. You already watched him play it. You just watched him play it. I'm not going to do that. I might play some Honkai Star Rail. The installer is running. I have to read the privacy tips. So we're going to keep watching the top 10 drinks that don't exist anymore. How long does this take? Wait, we might... Wait. 10 gigs. That's just going kind of fast, though. Go ahead and drop a follow. Guys, we're going we're gonna to be doing something together on Wednesday. I didn't leak what it was, and I didn't say what was happening. Jacob, have you told them what it is? I didn't say who it what who it was yet either. <laughs> oh, did you tell them? You told them what it is? Okay. I will explain. Chat. On Wednesday, Alfred and I will be engaging in a gentlemanly uh, competition to see who can defeat Chicken Little for the GameCube in a faster time. We will be speed running the game Chicken Little to see who will beat the game first. Oh, you didn't say the game. Okay, what's well, Chicken Little? <laughs> it's Chicken Little for the GameCube. You said you told them already. You said you fucking told them. Check out Chicken Little for the GameCube. Now, the 100% long play is three hours, okay? And the speed run is apparently, I don't know. We, we said we wouldn't look it up, but I assume it's a little bit less. So, we're going to be playing this game. We're not looking up anything about it. It's going to be brand new, but we're going to see who beats it first. For 500 Twitch subs, right? We agreed. I don't know why I'm saying this like you're not rich. <laughs> why Why am I doing that? that? Like, you could do... I can't do that. Uh, for, for five gift subs. Five whole gift subs. <laughs> Cody is literally unemployed. Wait, I've realized, can we save in the game? Can we save? Because, like, if you save, it's gonna... I guess it's a strat. Because if you save, it takes a second, but it means that if you game over, you, you get to come back, as opposed to, like, if you don't save, right? Right. 
you're rich, aren't you? If I was rich, would I be... Would I be... Why is this taking so fucking long? Chat, <laughs> start a hype train right now. Don't. 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 Don't do that. <laughs> Top left corner? Why is it snitching on me? What the fuck is that? What is it? Hey, hey guys up here. <laughs> Look at this. No, that's not how hype train... Thank you for the 20 gifties. I appreciate it, but that's not how this works. No, thank you, Hobo in the corner for the five gifties. No, 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 no. That's not how hype trains work. Giving more gifts doesn't help. Stinky goes, thank you. That's not how Elbior... No, don't. Guys, don't. I have to do a bounty. Desperate, thank you. Don't. Stop. 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 Guys, I have a bounty. Guys, I Zishan, thank you. Godoy, thank you. Guys, I can't. I have to do the bounty. I'm going to run out of viewers. Debop Fire, thank you. Rain for the Prime, thank you. Stop. <laughs> Stop. I can't. Guys, it's almost done. The bounty's almost done. If I hit the fucking bounty button and then I sub you, I'm fucked. Thank you, Ninja Chichilla. Thank you, Psy Guy. Stop. Where's the where is it though? That's kind of crazy. Thank you, OP's bananas. <laughs> Thank you, Commander. No, no. 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 Wait, did it hit? Did it hit? I don't see it. It didn't hit, right? Look at that viewer count go down. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> fucking. I'm stuck here, too. It didn't hit. The hype train didn't even hit. You did all that for nothing. You, do you dropped all of that for nothing. I don't know why it didn't. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> Thank you, Ecosta, <laughs> for the 500. 60 subs for nothing. Well, not for nothing. <laughs> he turned off hype trains. I did not. Bro, your viewers went down by a thousand. That's how this shit works. And I'm going to show you how Honkai Star Rail works. We're going to be trying a Honkai Star Rail tonight. I can't wait to show you this game. It's going to be a lot of fun. I've been so interested in this for quite a while. Please stop saying Honkai. Is that not how you say it? <laughs> I thought that was the actual thing. I, I didn't know that was... I thought that was real. We're going to be playing Honkai Star Rail, I think. Download it and get abundant rewards. That's right. Tons of rewards. Fuck it with Twitch. Turn it down. Turn it down. Turn it down. Turn it down. Oh, my God. Listen, if there's one thing I know Alfred loves, it's anime. And I love anime games. Like Honkai Star Rail. I hear it's a... Do I have to register? I'm going to log in with Twitter. I'm probably going to regret this. Apparently, Vince is really into Honkai right now, which is kind of crazy to me. All right, I'm logging into Twitter. Who is that? Thank you, Luke. Guys, if you can't... I don't know if that's still popping, but... I don't know if the hype train is still popping, but I can't, I can't do it. Every achievement gets tweeted? Wait, are you kidding? No way that's true, right? Dude, it needs an authentication code? I'm logging in with Facebook. <laughs> oh, God. Hold on. This is probably a bad idea. Guys, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Guys, I literally can't. We popped it. We're doing a bounty. No, 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 no. You can use your Genshin login. Oh, really? Whatever. I did Facebook. This is gonna be humiliating. All right, I'm in. I'm in, and I agree to everything. Let's play Honkai Star Rail. Let's start it up, guys. I can't. If we get it, I can't do it. I'll do it next time. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, the game will restart. Okay. The, we got the hype train. Congratulations. I'd rather see Count Subula play Honka. I can't do the lights. I can't. I can't do the lights. I can't. I can't scream about subscriptions. I'll have to play the game as normal. This is as good as it's going to... Wait, I could... I could do this as well. I could... I could... I suppose... <laughs> I could do... No, no, no music. Just... I have arrived, everyone. Ah... Uh. It's kind of uncomfortable. I don't really, I don't I don't know how to do it without the whole song and dance, but I have arrived after ten thousand years to play Honkai Star Rail. Um where is my game? It said it would restart. But Subula, do you like gacha games? The only thing I like to gacha is your Twitch primes. <laughs> Delightful. How did we hit level 10 already? <laughs> I love to gacha tier ones and your gifties. <laughs> gacha. <laughs> now we're going to play a little Gacha in Honkai Star Rail, the newest game from Royalverse. Honkai Star Rail is a free-to-play cross-platform space fantasy RPG on PC, Android, and iOS. Experience the infinite multi-world journey on the Astral Express official launch stream. Uh, okay. Uh, we are going to create a character and follow the game tutorial to familiarize myself with basic operations and systems. We will complete main story quests like Chaos in the Deep and Eye of the Storm and activate the pulling system and pull characters using free pulls, much like you pulled me out of my coffin to summon me for the, the height train. <laughs> <laughs> I love gacha games. I love Honkai Story. And I love to all of your friends and such. I shouldn't do this. I'm talking over the. I, this is so uncomfortable because I have to do both things at the same time. I, have, I should let the game play, otherwise, they're going to be mad at me. This is so hard to do. I feel like I, if I had the things on, I had to talk about it. But I, I, I can't because I have to watch the game. But now I'm, I'm fucking somewhere. Look out! <laughs> so, this is <laughs> so Seems fucking stupid. Time. No, no. Okay. I think you couldn't have timed it better. So this is like a turn-based game, time. right? Very punctual, Kafka. Somebody <laughs> doesn't see himself tonight. Mm. I, I, I love okay. Twitch Prime uh -huh. and gifties and subscriptions, you did but that. I no. love playing uh, turn-based RPGs in the vein Happy. of uh, gotcha Sorry. experiences but a little I, bit more. I'm going to go ahead and skip the dialogue for I would just love to get in the game. After all, Elio didn't. And I only sweat. have so many hours Why to would it matter? Prime once again vanished to hell. So we'll have to skip all the cutscenes before I send back to Remember my cursed train. I will <laughs> use basic attack on the Moonlight Turn. The hunting blade will strike true, but I only lost the complaint. Nice. May as well kill them all. Uh, select the enemy on the right as your target. Time to use my blast attack! Caressing Moonlight! Take that! We've won the battle! Wow, how delightful. Now what? 
What will we find in this chamber? It is Herta's portrait. Perhaps we can Who's learn this? something about this enchanting Herta? young lady. Yeah. Good job, <laughs> Sonia. Thank you. Thank you. I thrive <laughs> off of your encouragement. <laughs> it's delightful. When did the Stop analyzing, please. So <laughs> please don't do that during the sponsored really segment. Want the entire legion to come here? Are you trying to get people this to stop watching? To slow down I'm trying Express to get crew. people to stop subscribing so I can lay my soul back to rest. As soon as the hype train is over, I can go back to sleep. But here I am, uh, stuck doing this. <laughs> Lots of fun. Oh dear, five enemies. Whatever shall I do? Time to use my ultimate attack. I will send out my ultimate move off. against the Void Ranger. Thank you, Batman, for the gift. I, I think it's. I, I think that's enough. I think I'm full of primes. I think I'm totally okay with no more primes. I am. I am absolutely sated. No more primes or tier ones, if you please. Time to I would bye. really appreciate being late to rest once more. Thank you. Oh, my ultimate attack has laid waste to all of the Void Rangers, which means it's time for a single target strike to end this battle. Take that, Knave! <sighs> I, I must skip this for the good of, of all humankind. I have to skip this. Cleaning up other people's nests I can't, I can't skip. You know, Kafka? I'm stuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm Where did you send it, Silver Wolf? Some random coordinates. Okay. Mm, not important. You care? Of course not. Yeah, that. Uh, thank you, Omega Apex. Thank you <laughs> very much. Okay, I can. I can skip. I can skip. Like is that Lily Peachu? Is it? it uh, doesn't is sound that very Lily interesting. Pichu? Aren't you curious about how? Fine. I guess. Go down the cor oh, So that's where the Stellar on. That's where we can find out where the Stellaron is. Is that is that is that her? Okay. Switch your new team's member. Click anywhere in the click anywhere in the blank area to close. Let's collect the the items and continue on our accursed journey. Ho ho! I can't wait to the reach the star area rail. Space station is up ahead. Wow! Oh, an enemy! Oh dear! There. What the fuck? I come back to a cellular. I'm as confused as you are. <laughs> I am in misery currently, but it's not because of the game. For I love Honkai Star Rail, <laughs> made by Hoyover. The very most of many of my favorite <laughs> games. Relax. Oh! I'm in to find the void cannon. Fortunately, it has put me at ultimate ability, so I this will use my uh, uh, ultimate Ooh, ability to ban Jesus. this person. Die! This chapter has been banned. That's what I do to you. <laughs> Every time you you insult me and chat and hurt my feelings. Take that! Oh, the microphone oh. is so wet. <laughs> Oh, good heavens. It's all the Someone blood from something. all of the primes that I've been eating. All of the primes are being sent all over me. It is quite delicious. Love to eat the primes, but not tonight. Looks not like tonight. I would rather not. I, I'm very sleepy, and I would like to go back to rest in my coffin. I hope you all will allow me the courtesy of going back to sleep. Thank you. Oh, time to consume my skin points! Blast! You took oh, the bait just off. like that. Holy shit. Oh no! I died! Oh, what happened? Oh my god, what ha- Dude. <laughs> Whoever is reviewing this bounty is gonna be like, What the fuck? <laughs> Didn't even flip the cast. Good, good. That was miserable, guys. That was so miserable. 
I can't do subula if I'm doing a bounty because I don't know what I can say. And I, how much energy do I devote to the bounty as opposed to the subula? It's not. It was, you guys did that to me. I, this is so gross. The microphone is is drenched. Didn't hurt. It's just disgusting. This was worth the bit. Thank you. It was bad for us that too. Yeah, I don't. I, I didn't like this Remember from it. anyone. This was this was shitty to everybody. <laughs> this is miserable. <laughs> Oh, dumb. My chin's wet. Hey, if you're reviewing this bounty, I'm so sorry. It's a thing on the stream. This Time to ban optimizing. this user! Hmm. Die! This speed I'm gonna ban somebody slow. randomly from chat to show you the awesome power of my ultimate. Oh no! It's Ray! Oh no! How unfortunate! Oh man! Ray, it could have been anybody. This oh, it be. happened to be you, my you most trusty, bait, faithful like mod. <laughs> Actually, I feel like Ray. I feel Stand like you played still. this game. So I kind of want you in here. All right, come back. No, wait. I untimed him. Soul here. Wait, I retimed him. All right, you're back. I think you actually it played this game, so I'm gonna bring you back. History, I'm gonna bring you back here. It doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> oh, his sword is gone. Hold on. I'll reunite you. Wrong? I bequeath upon you the sto the sword of Conesis. Uh Mod, here you are. I knight the uh Sir Anti-Ray. The script doesn't include any info about the We would find This space station is well, hiding something at I've got Chat, who do you like? Sti Silver okay. Wolf, I the stage is yours. Wolf. Silver Wolf or Kafka? Type your answer in the chat. <gasps> who is your favorite character? I can see the even if you could. Where are we going? Huh? This is the month. <sighs> Make your way over no, here. No, you're then. not allowed There's to no like Silver Wolf. What do you mean? So, why not? Uh -huh. I think she's pretty cool. Oh, I think we're getting hacked. Oh, no, my star rail. Simple. Oh, no, she hacked. Yeah, we hacked the star rail. Let's interact with the curio to unravel the secret in the monitoring room. What's the secret? Huh. What's no this? secret here. Honkai star rail is a free-to-play cross-platform fan space fantasy oh, RPG on PC, map. Android, and iOS. Experience the infinite multi-world journey on the Astral Express. Choo-choo. Strange. The data. Let's take a look. Let's go. How long is this bounty? Uh, we play for an hour. We play. She's a member we play for an hour together. Society, I get. I get right. to. I get to spend an hour in the Honkai Star <laughs> Rail universe. Sense. Can you get it? Of course. Good. You keep skipping the dialogue. I just want to get to the gameplay. I'm just trying to get at the Except action. I'm ready. really enjoying the, the RPG mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> Elio said this now do I get stellar oh changes. I'm this person I thought I was he silver also said, wolf, bro it must be you who makes it I'll be him receptacle will not be changed after verification want to give right. him a new name I'll be <laughs> <laughs> for the fallen we unfortunately had to there lay him go. to rest but hopefully in 10,000 years he shall return How much does he remember? Wait, so I'm a robot? I remember you. Time to get up. This feels intimate. Why does she get so close, oh. man? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there's dialogue the choices? Station. Listen, you are in a daze right now. You don't know who you are. None of that mad. Listen, right. in the near future, at the end of your journey, Come this on. is Let's your future that Elio it. has foreseen. Do you like it? Uh, I guess. Lovely. Hey, that's the you. Her I sunglasses like. don't fit her eyes. How long do you think you need? According to the script, yeah, the Astral Express, actually, I know uh, Silver Wolf. that's a little. Just give me another minute. I must leave now. Huh. Don't worry, someone will. 
I didn't even. I'm glad you pointed when that you out. Well, no, choice, they could kind of fit. Like, like bifocals. You know they kind of go on her nose, regret. and like she probably has to like look like this, right? Oh, dude, the, the mic is so drenched. This is so nasty. Weren't the coordinates sent out from the speed? Well, uh huh? Come on, let's get to the fight. <sighs> Wait, stop it! They're awake. <laughs> Are you all right? Aw, this isn't good. <laughs> said my name is Subula. Nice to meet I don't you. know if you could see it. My name's Don Hung. This space <laughs> In all station caps. was just attacked by the Antimatter Legion. Uh, where should I go? Back to the Master Control Zone. Asta and the other researchers have gathered there. Plus, that's where we part- Wait. Don Hung and I are members of the Express. We just so happen to have. All right, you let's and go. go back together. Our land from let's the go on the department. Astral Express. Right. Wait, his name is March seventh. Oh, I didn't catch her name is a date. What's gonna happen March seventh? Hmm. <laughs> Wait, her name is March seventh. Is that a bug? <laughs> I didn't notice. I didn't see that until you. The Legion or Ramp, just a suggestion, though. She was found on March seventh. Wait, so I should be April thirtieth, right? Press and hold Alt to show your cursor. Customize your character. I really don't want to. Subula is a physical type character. I would say he's more magic. Each character has their own path. He follows the path of destruction. Very true. That's very true. Different types of paths. Okay. Got you. Cool. Let's go. This place is full of fancy little gadgets. Let's find out what's Part going on collection. outside. I really don't get why she'd go out of her way to collect them and then leave them here to gather dust. Uh, it's the antimatter legion. Oh no! <laughs> nice attack. Thanks. Watch this. You have the worst luck running into me. <laughs> Cool. Type icon beats the, is the thing. Weakness is the enemy's toughness. Using attacks of the same type as the weakness will deplete the toughness. Select the enemy on the right as your target. You can deplete the toughness. Take that. Ah, use the frozen break. Using the weakness break causing Let's enemies to freeze. Then you can use a physical attack to use the weakness break. And the combo move it, it synergizes perfectly with sub <laughs> All right, now we use the single target on this guy, which only does 12 damage, so I probably shouldn't have done that. Time to use the blast attack. Rip home run. Oh, I got a baseball bat? I kind of like that. I like characters with baseball bats. I'm a baseball guy, yeah. That's kind of sick. Thanks, anal checks. Hope I can save that. Dude, she does no damage. Let's go. Time to use a blast attack again. Got him. 105 damage. You're Massive damage from look. Subula. Seems Let's keep going. Whoa, what's this? So we'll take that elevator. Um. Uh, do you really work here? Really? Yes. Never. Let's go. All right, we're let's go to the safe zone. So in case you're just joining us, guys, I'm playing Honkai Star Rail. Am I saying that right? Thanks, sister, sister. Honkai Star Rail. Playing Honkai Star Rail. An incredibly fun new free-to-play game on iOS, Android, and PC. You're saying real weird? Rail? Honkai. Oh, it's Honkai? Subula is locked on the enemy and will be attacking first. March 7th follows the path of preservation. Okay. Yeah. Let's shield here, Subula. With the power of cuteness! Let's make it quick. Shield will be displayed. What? Hello, Connie. Thanks for the entertainment over the years. Thanks. Thank you. I appreciate it. Stop! Stop what? Let's clear these guys with a blast attack! Take this! Ha! 
<laughs> Guess they didn't like that one. Just a scratch. Too tough for you? He didn't even break through my shield. You can't run. <laughs> Try that again. <laughs> I'll have to watch out for his obliterate attack. It's almost broken through my shield. Take this! Oh, I hit the wrong guy. Let's nope, go. never mind. I got a hit. I got a kill. Taste my blast! Just a scratch. Thanks, Lloyd. Uh, Lloyd, did you come in here because I'm playing this game? Be honest. Let's make it quick. I think you did, didn't you? Taste my Stardust Ace! Uh, ha! Ha! To be broken. This is gonna be so cool. Subula is a powerful character that follows the path of destruction. My two, uh, my ultimate is two powerful attack modes: single target, multi-target. Taste the the my bat swing. Gotcha! Reach the end of the story in your own way. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I always say that. I always say that. Just a little I bit. I, I'm gonna get a tattoo of that. I think on my body. That's a that's a that's a big line in this series. Nah, I think the elevator. Uh, too bad, Don hung. Uh, I don't know that one. <laughs> totally. It's a classic Coney line. Yeah. Whoa! <sighs> that's an ankle tattoo. Why How big you is your here? ankle? I took another route to Arlan is in the control room. You found him. I suppose as the. Then let's go talk to him. You can tell he's supposing because he does this. It's a little bit of a uh, visual storytelling for you. Open the team setup to, to get your team composition. Add character. Dan Heng. All right, love that. He's on the hunt. Press and hold all go character to increase character levels. Dan Heng, level up. Character things, materials, level up. He got, damn, he leveled up three times? I didn't want to do that. I want to level up my guy. I can't. He's stronger than me now. I want my guy to be strong. I didn't mean to do that. A three sit. Oh, technique. Okay. Technique is a special ability used for exploration. Use the technique to get an edge in combat. Ah, they weren't ready for that one. That's when you get in there first. Yep, and Clemency. now he's frozen. Now you Never look so foolish. It. Trying to use sometimes. my glacial cascade. <laughs> Hiya! Didn't do a lot of damage. Ice to meet you. <laughs> Damn it! You thought of it. Uh, you know, I didn't even. Think of it. Now. That is funny. That's my very turn. good. Stay right there while I give you a present. <laughs> Let's go. I'll use my blast attack. Damn, that guy died fast. <laughs> yeah, it's the power of cuteness. What's wrong with that? Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. That guy talks a lot. That was a long thing to say. Take this! Cloudlancer Art! Torrent! Now, I, I normally would shield, but there's only one guy left, Let's so I'm make just going to kill him, and I'm going to make it quick. Oh my god, wait, he's got help. Good thing I have my shield on, and I used girl power. That's that move. Got him with the wind shear. I used my hunt ability. You couldn't have done it without me. I kind of like this. I kind of like an archer character. That's kind of neat. What a strong hit. Yeah, man. Hey. Yep. We're from the... Oh. Uh, it's just a coincidence. Why is strong. the anti -ma I... Lady... I bet my character is stronger than your harder. character. Yeah. But you Most could always try to make characters stronger than mine. So in the right Hawkeye Star Rail, a free-to-play game to available to on PC, iOS, and, and Android shops. After the evacuation was complete, go ahead and the download the game and try to make some strong characters. Oh, right. You. One eye blocked by the hair paw. Is that is that like a pog moment? Is that like a is that like a thing you like? 
Now that we found the key, we should get going. We can Where use that are the adults? <laughs> I think they're adults. They're robots, right? I'm a robot. Let's go. Hold on. Because I mustn't all have to try. Huh? My leg. You won't. Agree. Let us worry. Thank you. Traces. Level of traces to comprehensively increase enhance your character. Enter the traces screen. Oh, that shit, a skill tree. Damage boost. Ice. Max level. Freezing beauty. Activate. Engage. Trace activated. Ice damage increases by 3.2. Love that. I love that. I would like to do more. I can't because I don't have character in such. Yeah, do I have another one? Oh, hell yeah. Attack boost. Engage. Go to, go to Dan. Damage boost. Wind. Engaged. Love it when the number goes up. Fantastic. I actually love skill trees. Space Anchor activated. What? Recover health. Oh, okay. It's a healing thing. Okay. Let's go find more bad guys. I got told... I, I think this said that I had to do the story mission, so we're going to go do that. Can I just not fight? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Not me. I have to complete this mission. The this repulsion guy, bridge has been shut down. This guy is relentless. Down. Oh shit! Oh, never mind. He gave yes. up. To stall the enemy. That's his room. More or less. Why do they all have normal names like Arlen and Subula, but she's March seven? Hey, I don't know. It probably maybe it's a translation thing. I don't know. Subula transcends language barriers. You know what I'm saying? So. Jukes? This guy is so mad. Do I not have stamina? I guess not. Uh, she hey. doesn't know her name? No. Oh, that's so sad. They were acquired Provide stat boost to characters. Offer special abilities if it matches the cone. Okay. Let's open up the character to view the light cones. Let's go to Subula. Light cone. I will use the... The subula light cone. Got it. Level up. Don't have enough. Okay. Let's go. Don't, don't you for the light cone. Oh, is that it? We've reached the elevator already. Oh, there's a secret there. That wasn't too many monsters. How do I get over there? Oh, probably shouldn't have said that. Might bring bad luck. Can I break this? You've grown, March. Probably like a, there's probably like a, a little yeah. thing there, right? No way, I'm gonna miss the cool, the the unlockable thing. You'll get there later. Oh man, I'll have to come back here in a few hours. You can't get that chest yet. Oh man, okay. I'll come back when I'm a couple hours further in this game. Oh, that looks like a tough enemy. I hope we can kill that horse. Move carefully. This music actually kind of. The time is now. Woo! <laughs> Shit, kind of goes stupid. The truth of life and death. Time for a ethereal dream. An this sanctuary. Oh, this is kind of pretty. Gotcha! That did 97 damage. The, worst luck running into the me. enemy is locked onto Subula. Get ready to use a powerful attack. I'll use the power right of cuteness! I give you a present. Why did, was my ult so weak? What happened there? Checking mode. Let's check. Uh, okay, check him. Check him enemy info. He's a trampler. Got it. And I'm gonna hit him. With this, that doesn't do much damage. But it's okay, I have my shield on. And I have my ult up. You can't run. Stardust Ace! Uh, rules are made to be broken! He's so cool. He's uh, and he's so true, honestly. He's right. They are. Danger, welcome! Clemency? Never heard of it. Don't know what that word means. Probably mercy, right? Just a scratch. 
That charge attack didn't even do anything. That didn't hurt. Am I dead? I'm not even. No. Watch this. Better up. <laughs> it's like a small orange. Oh yeah. Okay. I love clemencies. Try that again. What's girl power? She has like an auto attack. Is it like a is it like a thorn thing where she attacks and she's dead? Why am I not taking damage? Yeah, wait a minute. Is Let's it just because of the shield? Gotta try hard sometimes. Taste my glacial cascade! So <laughs> bro. Didn't even do it. <laughs> she counters if they hit the shield. Ah, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> No, no. Why does he the get two moves? Of life and death I'll use my ethereal dream to counter it. Like this. This sanctuary is but a vision. You have the worst luck running into me. <laughs> Let's Am I go. dead? <laughs> I didn't shield myself. I think she might die. No way she died. Oh, it hit me. Why does he get two moves? That's it. I'm using start. Wait, was that a train in the back? Rules are made to be broken. Anyone... Oh, is that the star rail? Is this game a train? <laughs> she dies. I'm leaving. Don't worry, friend. You can stick around. That's the star rail. Okay. It's a star train. Yeah. I'm just trying to get to the pulling system so I can unlock new characters. The game says I have to activate the pulling system. Why does it always have to get this exciting? Anyway, at least you're back. Hmm? March, done. Oh, you. I wouldn't have made a difference. <sighs> Are you all right, Arlam? I'm Stop. fine. Stop. Very subtle. Hey, that's nice Himiko. In other words, she March she's in charge of where the express goes. Uh. That's literally, who is that? We right just me. met her, chat. <laughs> Come on. That's Himiko. She's joined the team. Now, how do I get? How do I get the pulls? Wait a minute. <laughs> the instant she's on screen. Yeah, a lot of Himiko fans in the chat, I've noticed. Yeah. Projectile radar tracking normal. Has a has telemetry signal has frequency. Great dialogue, I bet. Maintain at normal. Cody, hit the four key. I will, I will. The Legion is about to unleash over ten waves of continuous attack. Press escape Back and you can pull. Oh, I can pull oh, now. I'm glad you're all back safe. <laughs> Wait, hold on, Chips. On hand, okay, I can act though. What is the current situation? The situation is Come under on. control for now. The damage to our security system was minor. The real problem lies with the researchers. Let's go speak with the reason I sent multiple. I knew it. Oh, that would be of great right, help. Let's, let's move it along. I get it. Now we can warp. Open warp. Yep, love warping. Stellar warp. You can obtain characters and light cones from warps. Warps! That's the pulling. Engage the warp. Send it. Look out! A giant train almost hit me. Is that a rabbit? That's a very cute animal. Who's on the train? It's Asta! Yo! -ho! We got Asta! Let's go! Love Asta, man. I'm so happy I got Asta. I couldn't have asked for anybody better than Asta. Hello. How can I help? I uh, don't have uh, any questions. Chat. Do I have, somebody said to hit four. <laughs> There's no I'll leave the reassurance of the researchers in your All hands. right. Let's go see if, if Arlen needs help. If you have any other questions, help. you're welcome to. If only I caught the answer. All right. Uh, oh. <clears throat> I'll I leave you to both. get some rest. 
Got some items. Got some amber, some arrows, and some chorus. Now, wait a minute. If you check the mail... Where's the mail? Mail? Oh, there it is. The mail symbol. You get 20 free pulls and you get servile. Which means we get to do some pulling! Who's ready to pull? Me, 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 I am! I can't wait to pull! Let's pull with some arrivals. How many do I have? 20? Do I do departure warp? Or butterfly on sword tip? Or brilliant fixation? Or just a stellar warp? What do you guys think? Start pulling some bitches. I'm trying. Departure? Okay. Let's use our eight departures. The arrivals. You this is the departure, but I get the arrival. Now this uses this takes eight, but I get ten back. Can't wait to get some characters. I can't wait to see who I got. Who did I get? Let's flip it. Oh, that's a thing I got. Chorus. I thought that was a card that I flipped. Adversarial. Adversarial. Mutual demise. Mediation. Mediation. Arrows. Shattered home. Resolution shines as pearls of sweat. Planetary rendezvous. I didn't get any characters. <laughs> Let's try again! Surely this time somebody will show up on the star rail? It's time to pull once more! Who could be on that train? Let's open it up and find out together! Who's there? It's defense. Hidden shadow. Fine fruit. Fine fruit. Arrows. Mediation. Sushang! I got Sushang! Adversarial. Chorus. Sim. Sagacity. Sagacity? Wow. That's fantastic. Now I have four more. Where else do I pull? I didn't know if it was a sagacity, but I was going to say sagacity. I didn't want to say that. Do I do brilliant fixation or butterfly? Last one, you think? Okay. Do I have to do each one individually? Good job, Cody. You must be really lucky. Hey, you got it. If you got it, you got it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sometimes you just, you, get, you got the, the mojo. Like when you pull adversarial for the eighth time. That's fantastic. Let's get back on the train. What else did I get? Meshing cogs. And defense. And hidden shadow. Fantastic. Love that. I could also get some Stellar Jade, but I think I'll pass on that for now. What does Stellar Jade unlock, perhaps? Does anyone know, maybe? Do we, what does that get? Push the stick down, Alfred. 160 is one. Thanks, okay. but first, our preach, it's quite a... Got Are it. you ready? Uh, oh. Wrong order, kid. Push the control stick up to activate the spectrometer. Up right there. Are you down. ready? Yep, yep, yep. Wonderful. <laughs> Got that it. was fair. Abraham, the top priority. Got it. I solved the puzzle. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll finish the Watch Mojo video next stream. <laughs> Don't worry, everybody. I need to leave. I didn't want people to no, miss it. We'll do it on impossible. Tuesday. Look, I know in my... Everyone... Negative, positive. I will pull. Okay, we'll travel log to Oakland. Best. Oh, I got a Star Rail special pass. Can I use it? Do I use it here? Oh, it's one arrival. Oh. Oh, wait, no, it's a special one. Oh, do I want Brilliant Fixation or Butterfly on Sword Tip to get Seal? I want Seal. 
I think I'm gonna get seal actually. I'm a big fan of seal. Who's gonna show up on the rail? It's Void. Void! Void's here, everybody! Collab? <laughs> what if he was lurking in here right now? What if he was just sitting here in chat? Oh no! Who is this? It's a big space dragon. Leave. I'll stay. But let's go. Let's get out of here. Are you thinking of going back? The space station. Is... But we can't. Either way. There's That's a dragon. To... Yeah, it's like a big space alien He's... dragon. I guess. He's the one who can help. Hmm. This is the supplies. Mr. Yang. The Mr. Express. Yang. I can. Right now, we might be able to handle things if it's just the Doomsday Beast. Okay. But if the destruction. Uh, the destruction's emanator. What's that? Let's hurry up and get out of here. Oh, okay. Now, hold on. How do I pick my party? Because you know I got some epic drops. Is it... The, ge the game did tell me. It's this, right? All right, quick setup. All right, we're going to we're gonna get her in. Oh, because she's, she's already in there. And I think we get... We definitely get... We definitely get Sushang, right? Oh, is it just T? Oh. I was already in the menu, you guys. This is stupid. We gotta get Su Shang in there. Have to get Su Shang. No. Su Shang. Add. And I think we get rid of Dan. We get rid of Dan and instead we're gonna get Asta. I think this is a good this is a good play. And then what we can do is we level them up using our reason Nope, can't level anybody up. We don't have enough sense. Okay. I don't need support. You don't need support if you have enough damage. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that our HP is out. Love that. Put March back. No. I think that's unwise, actually. I think if you're too focused on defense and support, you're not winning past events. It shows the lack of confidence in your abilities. What we're going to do is launch follow-up attacks. Every time an ally inflicts weakness break, Himiko accumulates charge. Mmm. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So what I'm gonna do is attack that. Ah, don't I think that was the right play. You. Uh, I don't know what this power is, but this move bounces. Fire! A gift Meteor a storm. storm! Take this! Didn't let's do a go. lot of damage. Uh, let's do a blast and hit these guys. Take this! Damn, that did a lot, actually. You since I got get the away. break, she gets the victory rush. See? I have something for you. See? And it, me? For me? <laughs> oh, for them. <laughs> <laughs> you mean for the bad guys. You were being ironic. Stop acting up. Not for you. It's not for you. She meant for me. She meant for me, chat. She likes me. Let's make it quick. Why she got an ice cream sandwich? Which one? <laughs> oh, I see it. That's pretty good. We won! Reach the end of the story in your own way. Yep. Yep. Yep, Dr. Seuss. Plus two? <laughs> On reaching the end of the story? This is a wise character. Alright, let's continue on our path. Uh oh. Uh, the exit's over there. How are we gonna get to the exit, bro? Guess we're gonna have to go down and around. It's the only way there. This guy's sleeping, so I'm just gonna pass him. I don't wanna bother him. Discovered by the enemy. Oh man! I'm trying not to fight, but he forced you me get to away. Oh, two of them are dead already. What? Time to use my heavenly flare. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. What? And I'm no exception. What did she say? <laughs> what? Is she had a satellite. <laughs> 
ghost with no manners, huh? Oh. Look out! <laughs> Let's go. Truing. Combat is a series of precise. <laughs> Who gave her a low orbit ion cannon? I don't know, but I wish she would use it more. Reach the end of the story in your own way. He, I love it. I love that quote so much. It means so much to me, man. It really does. Plus three this time. Oh, okay. He's chaining them together. That adds more points. I've been saying that, dude. You guys remember I had that emote? Reach the end of your story in your own way. It was one emote for each word. Eight emotes, and you could only use them together. It's an important quote. I'm not adding plink. Shut up. Puzzle master. <laughs> Coney reach. Coney V. Coney end. Coney of. <laughs> A better world is possible. I can't read that. I can't read that. Engage. I'm in. Damn, these enemies are actually kind of. Cool. They're not even that bad once you like. Oh, Wait, yeah, max technique point. Oh, wait, what does that mean? Technique points. Game never told me about those. Level up. I can't. The express isn't here. It has to be nearby. Can't wait Let for Tony to die to the boss. What are you eyes. talking about, dude? Oh, is it skill points? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe? Uh. Huh. Uh. Uh, light cone. No, traces. 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 Of course. Of course. Traces. Exquisite. 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 I need character ascensions to get those. Oh, man. Keep at it. You press E to do an overworld attack that has benefits. Okay, well, I just did it, and he snapped his fingers, but that didn't do anything. I think that just heals. Wait, march! Huh? Huh? Oh man! Look how big that th that's the Doomsday really Beast. Here. We stand no shot here. against the Doomsday Beast. Uh, careful, everyone! He's so big and imposing, man. What are we gonna do against him? Oh! Big damage from his right hand. And also his left hand. What? What do I play? Let's so defeat what? the Doomsday Beast. Now he doesn't like fire or whatever that grass. <laughs> I guess that's wind. Let's use our single target. I don't know which one is better. Ooh. Oh my god. Wait, if I bounce... If I bounce, it'll hit all three. <laughs> A gift from the stars. Bounce the attack! Go! Attack boost! Oh, and this is gonna be perfect, see? Because if I do this... Uh, not quite. Not quite. Alright, I'll just do this. I, I'm about to, to burst all three, which will be great. Because if I burst all three, then she's gonna attack, right? That she's gonna be able to. Yep, this is great. And then I blast. I don't have skill points. I should have waited. Okay. Well, I get to knock this out, right? And that breaks his hand. Tough cuts. Oh! Doomsday Beast is powerful. But don't. Oh, he recovered from the break? Fuck. He's got a lot of nerve. Don't worry, everybody. I have my Stardust Ace. Uh, rules are made to be broken. Yup. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna use a blast on 
this in the middle. She hates that. She hates it when you do that. So you pop that, you get a bleed, get then the victory rush comes in. Send the victory rush. Do a little bit more. Love that, man. Love it when they do the victory rush. Anywhere. I didn't mean to hit that. I didn't mean to hit that. We're going to bounce it on this. Bounce it around. That's what I like to say. And then you pop that. That's going to break it. Send the victory. Okay, we don't have a victory rush. But we do have the shape of Pike 2. Um. Uh. Did that. Take that. Use the big blast. His right hand's almost broken. I think I'm gonna kill that. I think I'm gonna kill that. No way it didn't die. Surely this dies if I do this, right? It'll die. No, wait! We got a cr Okay, it's dead. Got it. We broke his left hand. W. We did it. Oh, no! Not the universe box! He crushed me in the box, but it's okay because I'm alive. Tough cuts! Oh! <laughs> but he's no match for my heavenly flair. Take this! Hiya! And I get the victory roll. Wanna see what I can do? Guess he didn't like that one. Or my astral blessing. Profound secrets of the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Oh, I'm a, I, she's a support. She heals it or something. Let me through, or I'll go through you. Huh? We broke the anti- Wait, that's, I thought I he was dead. No He's not so. dead? Uh, all right. Um. Look out. 84. Yep. Huh. 50. Combat I should have saved. Precise... Oh my god. Got it! We beat it! We beat it! We beat the Doomsday Beast! The Doomsday Beast has completely regenerated. Beats games, what's happening? I think the game bugged. Because I knocked his health to zero, and then the game said he's regenerating all his health, and he like got back up. I think it, you know, it's a new game. It's a new game. And since it's out on so many platforms, I think there are some things that they'll have to fix. Because it's on iOS and Android and PC. It's just a lot of different systems. You know, we've seen it in a lot of different places lately. So, it, I, oh, you know what? It might actually be a scripted loss. It might be a scripted loss. I forgot RPGs really like doing that. Yeah. Forgot about scripted losses. Sounds How did you lose to this? Off. He, I killed him. He regenerated. What are you talking you about? Get away. I killed him and he came back. Again, that's so I beat this guy first try. Well, yeah, you can beat him, but players aren't supposed to. It's one of those scripted bosses that you can beat. Oh man, I that was I think I was low on the recommended level because remember my main guy is like two, so. Well, I reached the railway platform, but that guy was a little bit too tough for me. Let's check out our light cone. Oh, I didn't equip a light cone, man. Oh, that's the problem. I'll equip Planetary Rendezvous on Asta. That synergizes well with her abilities. And maybe on uh, on Sushang, I'll put on... N no. I'll put on... Arrows. Arrow seems like a good fit for how she plays. 
And now he has Collapsing Sky, but actually, I think I'm going to change that to uh, Shattered Home. Because Shattered Home deals 20% increased damage to any enemies whose HP is above 50%. So anybody who has high health, like the Doomsday guy, right? The Doomsday guy has high health, so it's easy to do that. Um, and I don't think these guys need anything else. Maybe I should put Serval on the team. Serval's pretty good. I should probably... I think it was because I didn't have Serval. <laughs> Serval probably would have changed it up already? a little bit. That'll be helpful when the boss glitches and regenerates all his health. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised that's in the game. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just the... Uh, it's I got unlucky, right? Uh, what's the, the tutorials? Don't need those. It's fine. I'll be fine. Uh, check my phone for achievements. Love that. Got an achievement here, and I get to claim some juice. I got some Stellar Jade. Also, Fathom the Unfathomable. That's five more, and if I get 160 of those, I get another pull. There's another one. And I uh, get uh, I can check out the official communities. They have a Reddit, a YouTube, a TikTok, a Twitter, an Instagram, a Facebook, a Discord, and whatever that is. I, I don't know what that is. Hoyo Lab. That's Hoyo Lab, right? That's Hoyo Lab from the developers. Hoyoverse. Haven't seen that cat before. <laughs> Got some messages, Trailblazer code, so much stuff to look at. So many things to click. Look at all of these different notifications and alerts. There's so much to read, so much to do in the world of Honkai Star Rail. Guys, I just don't have the time to fight it again. I want to, and I'll beat it off stream, but I just don't have the time. We don't have the time, unfortunately. We stayed an extra hour. We stayed an extra hour on stream. It's just, it's a little bit too late. But I will do it. I just, there's reading books. If you want to read some books, there's books in the game. And if you explore the world, you can discover more readable items. Check the mail. I did. Wait, are there more? Wait. 300, what is that? Credits? What do you mean credit? Oh, that's for like leveling up. And I got 50 more of those. Wait, is that enough to pull? You know I love pulling. Wait, it is. How do I do it? How do I how do I exchange it? Pull normally. Oh, really? It's time to pull. Now this is the last pull of the evening, so I know they're gonna give me something good. Can't wait to see who comes off the train. It's Loop. Loop is here. Everybody, check out Honkai Star Rail, available right now for PC, iOS, and Android devices. It's free to play, so why not give it a shot? You can check it out above the chat. Hit learn more to find out more about Honkai Star Rail. Okay. I'm going to be... <laughs> Forgot that happens when I hit the button. Loop the stream. Shut the fuck up. I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys uh, uh, Tuesday. All right? <laughs> I'll see you on Tuesday. Fun stream, everybody. Good time. Goodbye. <laughs>